Hello everyone, it's Chris at Haley Taka and it is time for this week's Thrift Store Finds video and it's going to be a long video. So, this is for the week of, let's see, the 6th of the 12th of December 2020. And this actually I have to credit my dad with finding. It is a Mr. Christmas 1993 Santa tree topper. And the reason dad was able to find it is I have found a... Um, Bugs Bunny one where the base is the same but it's Bugs Bunny and he's holding a candle and I actually finally got an adapter for it because I got it free but there was no adapter so I think it was $12 for the adapter and this came with the adapter in the store but we put that Bugs on our tree this year so dad said he would like to put this on our tree next year so my Weeping Angel tree topper is getting a two year break um, but for $4 that's well worth the adapter and he works. He did not come with a box, though, but the adapter was more important. Trust me, that thing was hard to track down. I couldn't even... I actually had to get... There's one more in that year, is a Mickey Mouse one. And I actually had to get a Mickey Mouse replacement adapter, and it still worked on bugs. So, but his light still works. He's cute and adorable. Go and plug him. And, and that will be my theme for today, is uh, Christmas and motorized things, or things that can talk. So... Um, the other thing Dad found at Goodwill that I bought for him was this, and it was $5.99, but um, I had 20% off that day. So, new hose, one of those really lightweight, you know, hoses that stretches out really long kind of thing. So, all right, I think I'll start with the more breakable side kind of thing. Okay, so I did pick up some beading ornament sun catcher supplies figured these would be great for Christmas with green and red and crystals and then there's a bag and all Christmas items at St. Vinny's Marquette this week were 60% off so I actually got 60% off all of these because the, the beads were in the Christmas too um, my grand total for the week was just under 44 and I think I counted I have 47 total items so even though I paid higher on some, I got some so cheap that it averaged to less than a dollar for everything. Um, well, especially if I counted each individual in one of these. But there's like buttons that I might sell the button set for someone. But then there's like little charms in here too I can use for the ends of my ornaments. Those in the bag. Then I found one of these. Now... I had found one that said this and then said something else on the other side and had a replacement cork. This is the original cork. So it's very cool because it kind of has that full corn cob look. But the extra bonus on this one is someone hand painted a hillbilly on. So um, the last one I found was Highmark, I think, but this is Arrow made in Japan. It cost me $1.35. And I think my other one cost me about the same, actually, with my discount that day. So I'll keep the one that's not in perfect condition. I will try and sell this one um, just because I already found one of these this year. So, But I think the hillbilly will be an extra selling point because that is a very cool-looking hillbilly. And with the extra corn cob cork stay on the drinking theme unfortunately there were only three of these at salvation today we'll see how they clean up they've got a bit of residue on them but i sold a set of four of these for 40 with shipping included so they're high quality libby double fashion glasses um i'm noticing now there are a little bit of rough but i will keep the one that's in the roughest shape and then sell the other two as a set probably for 20 or 24 with shipping included or something i don't know we'll figure it out but I have sold those before, so I snagged them up today. And then the other thing I grabbed from Salvation Army today, which I hit up for a little, I suppose, for what I normally would, but it is actually a four-piece set for $4. So it is this very cute uh, gold leaf Libby sugar and creamer. And so the creamer, they're these nice roly-poly shapes. And then it's meant for sugar cubes because it came with this. And then it had the cool holder. Now some of the leaves aren't perfect. Like there's a couple scratches in them where someone may have missed and tried to do this on the side instead of just putting it in. 
Um, but overall, it is a very cute mid-century set. Um, so hopefully that will sell well. And we'll go stick with the drinking glasses. So um, the gold's a little faded on the rim of this one, but for 50 cents, I couldn't resist saving the Irish Setter dog. It's in that same style as the taller mugs I found previously, um, but this one would actually like just be your normal one where it's not super heavy or anything. So, And then I found this one at this and that, and it's actually a duck mug. I've never not sold duck glasses or mugs before. They all sell eventually. But this one had some beautiful colors on it. And I think I only paid a dime to a quarter for it because it was in like the on sale baskets. And it's actually marked on the bottom Staffordshire tableware made in England. So, and then no chips or cracks. So I was happy with that. And then I paid 80 cents for this. I found one other, but I didn't buy it because there's a huge chip in this. Uh, previously, I found one, but this one looks like it's in great condition. It's that classic rainbow vintage mug. It is a little marked up inside. I'm not sure if I can get that off or not, but worst case scenario, I'll put a little note that it's, you know, can be a pencil holder, a pen holder, hold anything you want. But what was interesting was this is the first one I found that was marked especially for you from FTD. So FTD actually got the rights for this after it been out for a while because I found others that weren't marked like that. So I thought that was interesting. <laughs> and then I got uh, whatever 80% $1. fifty is, I grabbed this little Fenton bear and she nearly broke him packing him. Thank God he is solid. Um, she wrapped him up and then just dropped him in the bag. And it was like, really, girl? Really? Why would you do that? It wasn't like the last time someone dropped something. Like, the lid accidentally came off on someone the last time someone... And that one actually chipped a little, so I had to, like, throw that in my listing. Um, but I thought this was interesting because it's not a birthday bear one. There's no heart on it indicating a month. It's just a clear bear one. And then... I grabbed this because it's by Kathleen Kelly by Russ. This was 75 cents. It's a little elephant figure, but she was the one who designed the Griselda the Witch thing I got before. So I thought, it is an extremely cute elephant. So I saved him. I think I'll save the rest of Christmas and toys for last. I'm going to go through the books I got next. Um, I did get one puzzle. Um, I'm currently doing a Hanukkah puzzle, and it's literally going to take me at least eight nights of Hanukkah, because whoever designed it was really mean and made all the pieces different. All of them. <laughs> but this one looked cute uh, with a cat theme on it. And then with books, mostly I got kids' books, but the first one, I just, it was so funny. Don't misread it at first. It's not the joy of sex. It's the joy of Lex, as in lexicon, as in words. So I'm going to have fun reading this, for one, and then selling it. But how to have fun with 860,341,500 words. <laughs> and it has its dust jacket, and it's from the year 1980. So it's one year older than I am. But I thought that was hilarious. Then, at the one book I picked up today, the cover has a little writing on it that you can't really see on camera, but the rest of the book is in perfect condition. I paid 50 cents for this, but I think I finally have enough for a good Sesame Street book lot uh, to put up. But this one was so cute because it's about the earth and sky, and so there's actually, like, space in here, including satellites, st space stations, and shuttles. So I thought that was cool. And then if you go to St. Vinny's and Marquette here, kids' books are 50 cents each or five for a dollar. So you might as well get five. So I found three musketeers. Oh. Simba and Nala help Bumbo the elephant. 
well, Bumbo, Mamo, no B, Hercules, and Donald Duck's Tallest Tale. So I see. And then I picked up, I think I have this one already, but it's so hard to follow in volume 19 of any of these sets that actually is the guide for using the rest of the set. So I think I have two of these now, but not sure. And I picked up volume eight of this set and then got this one, which is Mickey Mouse stories, including Mickey Mouse Heads for the Sky, The Big Bear Scare, and Those Were the Days. I generally sell, unless there's like a long history of them selling for more, I usually just sell them for 10 plus media mail shipping in my Etsy store. And then I did find another Sesame Street book at the St. Vinny's, and it was uh, featuring the Muppets. So we have the Grouch. And I was trying to see if Kermit was in here. Because it said featuring the Muppets, so you'd think, oh, you'd think it might be one with Kermit. But I don't see him, but I mean, it's in beautiful condition. And then my favorite finds, which I will probably sell together, are... The New Adventures of Pippi Stocking storyboard based on the movie. I loved this movie as a kid. And the New Adventures of Pippi Stocking activity book. And the miracle of all miracles is no one did the activity book. It is completely clean of writing. So someone either never bothered to use it at all or actually make copies of the pages to use. So I think this will make a wonderful set. Um, and they obviously were made to go together because the same design on the cover. Alright, so that's all the books. So I have toys and Christmas left. So, drink of water. I did that in about 12 minutes. Probably going to be another 12. So I think I'll do toys. So... I did pick up a gopher for 80 cents. I'm now still looking for a piglet and an owl. And then I will have a whole lot of the characters from all different time periods. I have like two classic Pooh and classic Eeyore. I have a Tigger. I have Kanga and a Roo that fits in her pocket and a rabbit and a gopher. So I want to do a whole lot and just sell them as a lot for and make a kid's day. So got him. And then... Again, talking was the theme. Oh, good. Just had a sale. Um, so he didn't even make it to the toy section at Goodwill. Um, oh, and it was a good sale. Came up on my screen, too. Spent 42 we'll, we'll see if that was one item or several, and they got free shipping. We'll see. But um, I saw him in the bin, and the only thing I could see wrong was one loose thread. But it's Jeffrey the Giraffe from Toys R Us. Remember, animals are people, too. Yes, I'm keeping it for my advertising collection. I love toys so much, I became one. <laughs> What's the matter? You never seen a talking giraffe before? I don't want to grow up on a Toys R Us And to stay in the theme of weird talking, making sounds things, um, when I was at St. Vinny's earlier in the week, I found this very weird creature called a beeple that has really big feet. And takes an old 9-volt battery. And it's supposed to be one of the very first interactive toys. Did I put it on wrong? It worked earlier. But it looks like a Bigfoot kind of thing. Hold on. Did I put it on wrong? Hold on. We're... There we go. So he lights, his nose lights up. Or his mouth. He doesn't have a mouth or something. Wait, wait. I guess technically they drew a mouth in, but you can't see it through the fur. But he's supposed to react to you, but my battery connection is not... He worked for like 10 minutes the other day. We were trying to figure out how the interaction worked. But let's see if I... Of course, this is the only 9 volts I had in the house, so it could just be that it doesn't... It, it's a really old battery and doesn't have much juice to it. I can get him to talk. His lights aren't lighting up, though. Oh no, it's stuck. Okay. But you can hear him. Uh, 
Look at this. I got the battery half stuck on there. No, there we go. I'm trying to get the light to light up on his nose. Because it did it lovingly. Let's see. Well, I got the sound effects working right now. But he was too, and I will sell him. Although it wouldn't be terrible if I didn't. <laughs> All right. So at St. Benny's Gwyn, I found these two for two twenty-five each. And I only found him at first, and then I found her a few minutes later. So I decided they will sell well as a lot together. Because he doesn't sell very well individually. If he was the closed-eyed version, he sells better. They're both the open-eyed version. So I figured I'd just sell them as a set. They're Anna Lee dolls from 1993. But they're building snowman. She's further along <laughs> than he is. But I thought they were cute. Them to the soft pile. And it says more holiday-ish theme because it's not necessarily Christmas, more winter. But then they had all their ornaments out finally. And so like the rest of this is all ornaments from the thrift stores I went to. Um, so I picked up a little leg lamp one loose. I might just keep this one. I'm not sure. Uh, but I thought that was cute. And then this one I think I got this and that. It was only 29 cents and it actually says R. Dakin on the label 1984 and it's a little like crocheted Santa ornament. But I think his hook came out like it's supposed to be a hoop and it came out and that's the only thing wrong with him and I got these basically for the quarter and they, everything was half off and so I grabbed them I have to fix the back of this one because his seam split but they're caroling <laughs> She's missing her uh, apparent gold thing on here. Uh, apparently, they were originally $12 wherever they were sold. I, But I don't see a hole in her hat. Well, maybe there was one. But I think I'm going to just take that off and sell them as a pair of caroling cats. And then, I, again, I don't necessarily know how much I paid for anything, but, oh, she's missing a little gold thingy. Apparently, I, I'm not quite sure what she was. I was just intrigued. Apparently, she's lost her wings, so maybe I'll craft with her. Her face was so endearing, though. Mm -hmm. So, it looks like I have to play craftiness with her and make her some wings or something. But when you're looking fast, and then I found these two dinosaurs, which I assume went together, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> they seem to have similarly creeped out eyes, so I'll probably sell those together. So you got like the uh, classic Brontosaurus, which is incorrect, and a uh, Triceratops. And this was the one thing unmarked at Goodwill. I have no idea what I actually paid for her, but a little Betty Boop. Uh, it just says made in China on her, so. And then I think this one says 89 cents, 1993. I think it's a Hallmark. And it says his and her slippers. And so they're showing off their new slippers, cute little reindeer ones, and they're cute little foxes. Again, I'm a sucker for animals. And then these came in their original boxes. So this is a uh, two mice, a mi mouse and a squirrel caroling, and it looks like. 
Oh yeah, it's a metronome behind them. I'm not going to try and take it out of the package right now. It'll just be way noisy. So that I paid a dollar twenty-five for. And similarly with this, I did make sure he was inside because they only taped the top, and so I undid the bomb. So that cute little bear firefighter is in there. And I picked up this, even though for four twenty-five, because there are four very large ornaments in it. I was really sad someone had to write that on it, but they did still keep the box, and the box says original price is twenty-five. And inside are four large ornaments like you need a really big tree for this but there is a set of four bloomingdales so this one it says bloomingdales and then has purses on one side similarly this one has shoes and then we get into the more detailed one and then this is just a bunch of lady shoppers with their big brown bags from shopping at bloomies and then this one's the best one because you get the storefront and the tree but these are like bigger than the general globes like this is what most globe sizes are is this shirt tails ornament size this is going on my tree right after the video that's how much bigger it's like double to two and a half times bigger so I will try and sell the Bloomingdale ones because I'm not much of a fashionista but I figure I can do something with those but yeah, I had to grab this shirt tails one uh, it had a label on it. I think it was 75 cents minus 25% off. So whatever that is. So that's going on my tree. And this one is going on my tree. I paid 50 cents for because it, it was half off. And it's a little Mardi Gras mask. I don't generally buy things with glitter, but I just liked the Mardi Gras mask. Plus, I do have some Mardi Gras ornaments I made that would go really well with this. And then the one I bought that I can't keep looks like an old-fashioned bird ornament with the clippy on the bottom. Uh, but it is a peacock one. Oh, there's the 75 cents from the other one. But I paid a whole quarter for this peacock one because those feathers reminded me of my friend Bobby Glenn. And so this is going to him and he knows it already. I posted it to my Facebook because last year... Our last performance of Rocky Horror last October, not this year, but in 2019, one of his outfit pieces was a robe with peacock feathers, and it was absolutely gorgeous. So, got that. My few, I grabbed a few silverware. I, I grabbed two Starburst pattern things, a tablespoon and a serving spoon. I just have like a mug that I'm just piling them in. It's just like a fun little thing to look for Starburst one. And I'll just sell a mixed lot one day. And then, who can resist a Donald Duck spoon? He was just sitting there. And then, I told you I'd get use out of this. This is another ornament I'm keeping. I got it for whatever 75% of 50 cents is. It's a cute McDonald's ornament which features a hot apple pie bottom sled with a drink stir and french fries ornament. So that's going on my tree. <laughs> and I think most of the rest of this stuff I'm going to sell. So I found this very cute wreath family circus one. So you got Billy that way and Dottie that way. It's actually like really heavy. But it's from 1999. Bill Keen licensed. And then this one uh, I think is by Luster Farms. Because it really reminds me of a lot of those ornaments I got in the lot. So... This I paid 40 cents for because Christmas was 60% off there. So it's just like a mouse eating a midnight snack of cookie of gingerbread cookies. Well, that fits the gingerbread theme for today. It's actually gingerbread house day, but... And then I got this, like, loot ornament in this pink tone. I think I have another loot and another tone downstairs in my ornaments to list pile, so I think those will go well together. And then I found two oh, Cabbage Patch ones at Silver Creek, but they are so freaking heavy. I'm not sure what tree will actually be able to hold them. Um, 
But we have a girl figure skating and a boy sledding. But, oh, they are heavy. Um, and then she didn't believe me that this was Christmas. It was not in the Christmas section, but it's definitely made as an ornament. It was made in West Germany, so we can date it pretty well. Um, but it is more of a Thanksgiving piece. It says November is a time of thankfulness, and it's got uh, people prepping what should be Thanksgiving dinner with a cat under the table. Uh, so it looks like they're making some sort of dough and more pies, I guess, because there's a pot baked pie on the table. I thought that was very cute. And then I picked up two of these earlier in the week and one later in the week. And so I think I paid 40 cents each for these. And this I probably paid a quarter for. Um, so I think they're all by... They're, they're not. One's Jasco, one's JSNY, and this one's Jasco. But I think I might just sell all these. I think I have another one I found the other week of a bell animal. I think I'll just sell them together as a lot. So we have a penguin, and someone's actually has the ornament hook on here. Uh, a bear with dessert. And a cute little Christmas mouse. And I think I have another bear from last week. And I do believe that is it. So that's 26 minutes of time and a lot of stuff for what was a total of just under $44 for the week. So I feel like I did pretty well. <laughs> um, and I will be listing like crazy for the next two nights to three nights. And I'll go see what I sold on Etsy. Would we like to see? What did I just sell on Etsy a few minutes ago? What was that? Cha-ching. Oh, someone want, bought the Christmas angel that I found last week. So it's that napco wear Christmas angel. Let me see if I can get it to zoom in. Holding the gifts. So she sold for $42, including shipping. <sighs> That's nice, considering I paid $1.50 for her. <laughs> Win. All right, well, I have a Weeping Angel tree topper to wrap in the mail, and now that to wrap in the mail to send out Monday. So five orders to go out Monday right now. Um, speaking of orders, I will put my links from my Etsy and my eBay Trash Couture Treasure Shores down. I do have a few things still listed on Macari, but I'm not really active on that much anymore. I will still sell something. But considering the last thing that sold, they never paid for, got a little upset. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.